In the Alien vs Predator movie from 2004, there were three young predators undertaking a coming of age ritual that took place every 100 years, in which to become full members of their clan, they must each successfully hunt and kill xenomorphs, and then mark themselves with their acid blood. This time though, the trio were unsuccessful, with only one managing to mark himself, but who died before he could make it back to his tribe. The first of the three to fall was the Chopper Predator, who was the middle brother, older than Scar but younger than Celtic. While distracted by the humans, he was impaled and then headbitten by the Xenomorph who'd later become known as Grid. But what may have happened if he wasn't killed so early in the film? Of the three main Predators, he is the least important character with the least amount of screen time, literally less than one minute. In the official action figure line for the film, he was notably absent from the first wave of McFarlane's 7 inch figures, which included the Grid Alien, a regular alien, Scar, Celtic and even the Elder Predator, who had around the same amount of screen time if not less than Chopper, making a lot of people's collections feel incomplete. In the second wave though, which consisted of playsets in a smaller scale, there was one released with him being killed by the Grid Alien. There was also a Hot Toys version released, but it was much more expensive. It wouldn't be until after a decade after the film's release that a 7 inch scale figure was made by NECA. Despite being only a minor character, the movie makers didn't skimp on the design however, as he still has an interesting look with a unique biomask, human trophy skulls, and scimitar blade weapons not seen on any other character. So if for whatever reason he didn't die when he usually does, how may the rest of the film have played out? Well, the biggest thing plot-wise is that without the grid alien to intervene, the main character Lex Woods would have been killed along with the rest of the humans, as Chopper was about to attack her before he got killed. Chopper and Celtic would have just killed her, Sebastian and Wayland in that one scene, which if memory serves would have meant the end for all the human characters. So as far as the outside world is concerned, Wayland's expedition would have just vanished off the face of the earth, probably presumed to have just gotten lost and frozen to death. If the two predators had been able to kill the humans uninterrupted, they would have retrieved their plasma casters and continued the hunt as normal. They would then meet up again with Scar and with their plasma casters, would most likely all manage to bag a xenomorph each and all become blooded Yautja and live happily ever after. So I don't think this version of the film would have worked as well, but we're not thinking of it as a movie here, we're thinking within the confines of the Alien Predator movie universe. It would have been cool to see him use his scimitars, and that's a weapon I'd like to see return in a future film. Something similar we did see though was the Maul in the Predator Concrete Jungle game, which was kinda a handheld version of the weapon. Make sure to leave a comment letting me know what you think could have happened if Chopper didn't get killed in AVP. If you want me to continue this series with a video discussing what may have happened if Scar didn't die, then let me know. And if you want to check out the last one where I speculate on what might have happened if Celtic didn't die, I have that on screen for you now. Remember to like the video for the time and effort that went into making it, which also helps with the algorithm as well. The better the video performs, the more of them I'll be able to make. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.